Assalamualaikum Prof. Thank you so much. Waalaikumsalam. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah. Second, uh, thank you for the invitation. <laughs> yes. Okay. So today we have a different topic altogether. Yes. Today we're going to talk about academic integrity. Academic integrity. Well, it's good. That's a good topic. Uh, okay. Good topic, yes. So to you, Prof, what yeah. is academic integrity? Okay, Umid. Uh, thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan uh, salam sejahtera kepada semua pendengar-pendengar kita mm -hmm. di uh, I Radio. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, topic uh, for today's discussion is on the uh, academic uh, integrity. Mm -hmm. And uh, integ integrity, uh, actually in simple um, language, mm -hmm. means uh, honesty. Mm -hmm. Honesty. Uh, you must be honest uh, in everything uh, you do. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess uh, we all must lead an honest life, lah. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, this is that is uh, honesty is in the teaching of uh, of our religion, lah. Mm -hmm. I guess all religion that teach their, I mean, uh, the people to be uh, to be uh, honest. Mm -hmm. So, uh, in practical term, mm -hmm. uh, academic integrity uh, meaning meaning mean that. Uh, you have to do your academic work well mm -hmm. and um, of course with uh, honesty. Yes. Then uh, opposite to uh, honesty is of course we have the term like academic dishonesty. Mm -hmm. Academic dishonesty uh, which includes uh, cheating. <laughs> cheating and then of course uh, cheating means an uh, example of cheating would be um, Copying, mm -hmm. uh, copying someone else's um, assignment, or submitting work, or uh, work uh, done by other people. Mm -hmm. uh, you cop then, uh, of course, whether in whole or in parts, mm -hmm. uh, by another people. Then, uh, of course, the other one would be um, nowadays. Uh, we have we have uh, seen uh, we we come to know that. There are people who actually um, contract out their assignment to yes. other people. Uh, that is to me is a very, uh, a, a very uh, a dishonest uh, practice that we must uh, must avoid. Eh? Mm -hmm. And the other thing would be um, aiding and abetting other other students uh, to commit breach of academic policy. Mm -hmm. uh, in this case, for example, you give other student the uh, opportunity. Uh, to copy your assignment, I uh, even, uh, that is also uh, it's not right. Nah? Mm -hmm. You shouldn't allow your colleague or sorry your your other students, uh -huh. your friends, mm -hmm. to copy your assignment. You shouldn't allow that. Mm -hmm. And then of course, uh, sometimes uh, even in the exams examination hall, I'm sure. I, I mean, there are people who like who give the opportunity for others uh, to copy uh, to mm -hmm. copy their the exam script. Mm -hmm. Uh, in OUM, uh, we expect um, our students uh, to pursue their studies with purpose and uh, integrity. Mm -hmm. uh, we expect them uh, to be honest in all their um, academic uh, related work, mm -hmm. such as, of course, as I mentioned to you earlier, in your assignment, exam, project, etc. And uh, and I think uh, our staff uh, and students know that know about our vision, mm -hmm. our mission, and our shared value. Mm -hmm. And if you look at the list of our shared value, integrity is at the top of the list. <laughs> integrity is at the top of the list. Mm -hmm. But of course, others uh, include the uh, professionalism, caring, teamwork, and. Uh, Innovativeness. Mm -hmm. Those are the other, the other values. Mm -hmm. uh, for our students, uh, this in, uh, academic integrity lies at the heart of their degree programs. Mm -hmm. They have to uh, adhere to the high standard of uh, academic integrity, mm -hmm. or else uh, the degree that they obtain uh, is compromised. Um, and we have to make sure that this doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. Uh, has it will definitely tarnish the image mm -hmm. of uh, our university. Mm -hmm. So that's all. I mean, that's in a nutshell. Uh, 
what is, is academic uh, integrity? Uh, academic uh, integrity. Mm -hmm. Okay, Prof. I guess for the most part, for for most people, mm. uh, the, the fact that they they view academic integrity or academic dishonesty as something that is okay for them because they don't see anybody getting hurt or getting harmed. What's the harm, you know? But of course, in, academic integrity is something that is important. It's very very important, especially yes, for a is. learning institution. It is. It so, is. Prof, why is academic integrity so important? Ah. Okay, oh, that's a good um, pertaining, uh, pertinent question. Mm -hmm. uh, it's important because we want to create mm -hmm. a society of learners mm -hmm. who are of noble character mm -hmm. and uh, discipline with high moral values. As I mentioned to you earlier, uh, if uh, their education is compromised, mm -hmm. Uh, they are not able to perform the job they are trained for. Mm -hmm. yeah. For example, uh, it would be uh, sad to see a person, say, um, with a degree in accounting, mm -hmm. you know, op after obtaining a degree in accountancy, mm -hmm. and could not perform mm -hmm. as an accountant, mm -hmm. simply because they do not have the knowledge. Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, the their degree is being compromised because the assignment, everything, they just copy from other people. Mm -hmm. So, um, th that would be bad, bad on him, mm -hmm. uh, bad on him. He probably uh, cannot be confirmed in his position. Mm -hmm. you know, he can he can apply for a job and he got a, he got, he can, he got a job, mm -hmm. but if he doesn't perform as an accountant, he cannot be confirmed as an accountant. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, I guess he will even lose his job. Mm -hmm. So, of course, this one, uh, this is, this is uh, bad for him and also, as I mentioned to you, it's also bad uh, uh, for Open University Malaysia. It mm -hmm. gives us a bad image. Mm -hmm. uh, that is why we, uh, we have uh, measures put in place mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, to uphold the uh, academic integrity yeah, for yeah. all uh, our students. Mm -hmm. So, Prof, what are those measures? How does OUM uh, ensure our academic integrity? Uh, we have, uh, number one, of course, uh, we have to create awareness. Uh, mm -hmm. create awareness. We have a subject called uh, learning skills mm -hmm. for open and distance learning. Mm -hmm. uh, this subject uh, discusses discuss, uh, at length about plagiarism and the need for proper citations mm -hmm. in, in, in their, in their uh, assignments. Mm -hmm. And uh, for the marking and grading of uh, assignment, mm -hmm. uh, we have um, a system or a software mm -hmm. called the um, checker, similarity checker. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, with this software, we are able to check mm -hmm. the similarity in the assignment. Mm -hmm can check the similarity of the assignment mm -hmm. submitted by our students. Mm -hmm. And of course, uh, some of our students, they complain about the, the system, mm -hmm. saying that, you know, they did not copy from uh, each other and mm -hmm. so on. But what I would like to stress here is that we are not saying they copy from each other, mm -hmm. but sometimes yeah. they copy from the same source. Mm -hmm. You know, they go to the internet, mm -hmm. they cut and paste from the same source. Okay. And then their assignment, when we go, when we put through the uh, similar, similarity check, it shows that there are a lot of things similar. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, we, we have, um, we take actions uh, against, mm -hmm. uh, against this. Mm -hmm. You know, we deduct their marks and mm -hmm. so on. And uh, believe me, um, I would like to caution uh, our students. Uh, Mm -hmm. And uh, <coughs> in that we have a rule in place, mm -hmm. and the penalty can be uh, quite stiff mm -hmm. to students who uh, actually uh, do all this kind of academic dishonesty. Mm -hmm. And furthermore, what is most important is uh, I don't think they learn much by just copying uh, and also by cut and paste mm -hmm. from from the internet. They don't learn much, mm -hmm. so actually. It's, it's a waste of time mm -hmm. for them to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay, Prof, lastly, our last question yeah. for today. What would your advice be uh, to our OUM learners in terms uh, of withholding to academic integrity? Um, number one, uh, 
you have to do your assignment on your own. Mm-hmm. Eh? Do not copy or wish hire someone else <laughs> to eh? do it to, to to do the assignment for you. <laughs> I think we manage. Uh, I think we we have seen uh, or we have heard of, about this case uh, before. Mm-hmm. They have actually uh, hired somebody to do the assignment, mm-hmm. and uh, of course this person, you know, he actually contract out the work not to one student, mm-hmm. but to many many students. <laughs> so you all end up <laughs> all the students. They have similar assignment, <laughs> similar assignment, and when we put. Through the uh, similarity check, mm-hmm. then we re- they re- we realize that they are all similar. Mm-hmm. When they are all similar, you know we we uh, we deduct some marks mm-hmm. accordingly. Mm-hmm. And if they are very similar, then the student will not be getting any marks. Mm-hmm. Probably they, they they get zero uh, for the assignments. Mm-hmm. Then the secondly would be uh, do not um, copy or cut and paste from the internet. They must be able to do proper citing of the sources. Mm-hmm. You know, you have to acknowledge other people's work. Mm-hmm. Uh, that seems important. Eh? Acknowledging other people's work. Mm-hmm. And then the thirdly, um, of course, uh, we talk about examinations. Mm-hmm. Uh, they shouldn't bring any notes to the examination <laughs> hall, whether small or big. They shouldn't <laughs> bring anything. And they shouldn't write anything on their examination slip. <laughs> you know, they have to bring in the exam slip, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, so they shouldn't write anything on the exam slip. This is important. Because if they are caught, then the penalty can be very severe. Mm-hmm. You know, they, they can be suspended for, uh, for one semester or, or more, depending on the severity of, of the... Um, of the um, Offense. Of the uh, what you call uh, offense, offense, mm-hmm. offense committed by by the students, mm-hmm. and uh, for BPG student, um, mm-hmm. it would be a tragedy. I, I think you know why because uh, we inf- we would inform the BPG, mm-hmm. and it would be in their personal file. I see. And then I fear it would jeopardize their chances of, of promotion and so mm-hmm. on. Mm-hmm. I think that's why I think. Um, they should, they should be we all should be honest uh, in everything we do mm-hmm. that is the take home message mm-hmm. uh, for today is is honesty mm-hmm. right? this is important mm-hmm. okay so thank you prof so okay lastly uh, uh, actually, oh, a small okay. little advice uh-huh. to the listener uh-huh. to our, our students uh-huh. uh, my advice would be uh-huh. uh, to all uh-huh. would be um, to lead an honest honest uh, honest life uh-huh. And of course, uh, you have to work hard in everything you do. Mm-hmm. Yeah? And then, uh, honesty actually is in the teaching of our religion. Mm-hmm. And uh, you cannot go wrong with it. Uh, inshallah, uh, I think if you're honest, uh, you will have a happy and uh, a fulfilling life. Mm-hmm. Inshallah. Alright. Okay, uh, thank you, Prof. Okay, yeah. thank you very much. Dan uh, seterusnya saya ucapkan uh, terima kasih kepada pelajar-pelajar semua dan uh, insyaallah kita akan uh, jumpa lagi mm-hmm. di uh, masa yeah. yang akan datang. <laughs> Alright. Okay, Umi, thank you very much. Eh? Thank okay, you. Terima kasih, Umi. Thank Alright. you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh dan salam sejahtera.